My apartment has been having some issues with the smell of dog pee in the staircase I use every single day, so I'm gonna take matters into my own hands. Hey guys, my name is Leanna. I am personally very excited about the customization. To some it's life-changing and to some it's completely pointless. And it's time for you to make your decision about it. With the iOS 14 update, the app library and the widgets came along with some other stuff, but I'm just gonna be talking about customization today. So the Shortcuts app, which was a way to create your own icon and have it jump to the actual app, that was already around, but it wasn't until iOS 14 and widgets that people started getting really excited about customization. The pros of customization are pretty obvious. It looks good and you can give it your own vibe. But isn't there like that delay when you click the shortcut? That could get really annoying. Okay, I'd call you a Debbie Downer, but that's a valid point. Let's talk about it. There isn't a way to fully fix this, but there is a way to slow it down. I meant to say speed it up. You're gonna go into settings and then you're gonna click accessibility, it's slightly below general. And then you're gonna click motion and you're gonna click reduce motion and turn it on. And that's gonna take it from this with kind of a swipe look to this, where it's just gonna flash for one second and it's not gonna have that swipe. A lot of people are hoping that'll be taken away in the future, but as of now, all we can do is just try to make it a little bit quicker. The shortcuts don't even show the notification badges on the corner, right? True, true. But I'd like to mention that that could be a positive, especially if you at least have it on your first home screen, you're not gonna be as likely to wanna click into something that you may not need to click into. So I think it could be a little bit better when it comes to temptation, but if there is something where you really wanna see the badge, you can still see it in app library, or you can do what I did, which seems a little bit pointless, but you put it right on the next page as a regular icon if you really do wanna make sure you know when there's a badge in the corner for a notification. It seems kind of dumb, but I just wanted to make my first screen aesthetic at least. And I think it at least helps to have your first screen not have the badges. It's also kind of annoying how all the widgets say Widget Smith or like whatever the host app is below it. That's so discreet. That's not something most people would be bothered by. Maybe I'm over perceptive, but maybe others are too. Some guy named Todd from Michigan or Megan from Texas could be driven absolutely bonkers by that. That's fair. So yeah, it says Widgetsmith, which is the hosting app right below it. And I'm pretty sure the other widget hosting apps have it below it too. To me, it's not that noticeable. And maybe in the future, they'll have a version where you pay on the Widgetsmith app to take it off. But I'm hoping in the future, they just take it off for free because maybe another widget one will take it off and people will be more likely to use that one because of it. But at the same time, that could leave a weird amount of white space below it. So I think it just comes down to the competition and they just kind of want to advertise for their widget app. And now, I'm gonna show you quick how to use the Shortcuts app and the Widget app to customize your screen. So this is one of the aesthetic packs that I designed. I'm gonna have it on my description and the pinned comment. It's gonna be on my Etsy that I made purely for this. So I made a neon one, a rose gold one, and a dark rainbow one. And this one comes with some geometric widgets. So here's what I have, and I'm gonna put a settings one right in the corner, which is what I had, but I'm gonna show you how to put it there. So it's possible you already have the shortcut app, but if you don't, it's gonna look like this. And once you have that, you're gonna open up the Shortcuts app. And once you're in the Shortcuts app, you're gonna to wanna to click the plus right at the corner of the screen and click add action. And then scripting, and then open app right on top there. And then you can choose your app. And I just clicked settings, and then I'm gonna click the three dots right in the corner. Add to home screen. And then on the bottom there, you're gonna click that blue square. And you'll also see it up in the preview, but we're gonna click it down here in the bottom. Choose photo. Here's where I have all of my icons that I designed. And then I have settings right there in the corner. So this is how I want it to look, and I have it bleeding a little bit, and that's how you're gonna end up seeing the border, but you won't see it that far to the corner, if that makes sense. And then down here, I'm gonna click the X, because I don't want it to just say new shortcut for and then I'm gonna type settings, and you can do lowercase if you want, but I just did it. Regular, click add. Regular meaning with a capital. So up here, you're gonna put your shortcuts name. This is just what Siri responds to, and it's also what it's put under in the app. So I'm gonna put settings three, because I've done this multiple times, and I think I already have settings and settings one and settings two. You can just put settings if you do it. And then you're gonna click done, and then it should show up. 
So I've got it right there in the corner of the screen. So this is what the rose gold example could look like. If you like it, like I said, I've got it on Etsy. Next, I'm gonna show you how to use the Widgetsmith app to put a widget on your page. I'm gonna quick remove this one and then I'm gonna put it back on and show you how I did it. So this is what the Widgetsmith app is gonna look like. It'll be the first thing that comes up when you type Widgetsmith. So once you get into the Widgetsmith app, if it's your first time, it won't obviously have any of these, but it'll say small widgets, medium widgets, and large widgets. And I'm gonna say add small widget so I can re-add that gold one and show you how I did it. And you'll click default widget. It's gonna have time, date, custom, which is what I'm gonna show you with the photos. And then there's battery, calendar, reminders, weather, you have to pay for all of those. And then they've got health activity, tides, and astronomy, some of which you have to pay for, but time and date are really the most popular. So I'm gonna click photo, and then right after you have that selected, click selected photo, choose photo, and then I'm gonna click that gold one, just like I had before. And that's the one I want. And then I'll just go back, click small, number seven, and up here you can tap to rename. For me, I'll do gold. You can do something a little bit more specific. So then I'll have that right there. And then I click out. And then on the page I want it, I'm just gonna hold down on the screen until it becomes edit home screen. And then they're gonna be shaking. I'll click the tiny plus in the upper right hand corner. And then I'm gonna search widgets. I'm gonna type widget smith. And then I want a small one. So I'm gonna click add widget right below small. And when it's on your first one, you're gonna see this gray square. But for me, it's defaulting to the pink geometric. You double click and it's weird. You wanna click and then on the second one, hold it down. That kind of drove me crazy in the beginning, but then I'm gonna click widget and it's gonna show me all my small options. And then I'm gonna click gold. And then I'm just gonna click off and I've got gold back on there. And then I'm just gonna move that down there how I like it. And now I've got the widget just how I like it. And then I've got the settings one right on that next page. So when I heard about the aesthetic icons, I got really excited and I made this rose gold one. Well, that's what I call it. It's rose and gold and a little bit of silver. And then I have the neon one right there and it's got kind of a neon sign vibe as you can see. And then I have a dark rainbow that's just like a little bit more of a toned down adult version of rainbow, if that makes any sense. So those are gonna be in my Etsy that I have pinned in the comments and then also in my description. I hope this gave you guys a good idea of the pros and cons and whether you think the customization is worth it. If you found this enjoyable and or helpful, please give it a like, consider subscribing and turning on the bell, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Leanna. What? Will you buy me a pumpkin spice latte? Sure.